animating characters and removing calamity. That's right, it's Disney Animated from Funko Games. In this cooperative cartoon collaboration, two to four players take the role of animators, all attempting to complete their classic Disney films before the production deadline arrives. Additionally, the villains of the stories hinder player progress since they know how the story ends. If the team can complete their films before the deadline, they win the game! Setup begins with film selection. Each player selects a single film from the five available and takes the matching background board, background tiles, action board, wood tokens, and three character cell cards. The player whose film has the earliest release date also takes the first player token. Next, set the studio board in the middle of the play space. Shuffle the animation cards, deal three cards to each player, and set the remainder in the face down draw deck on the left side of the board. Shuffle the paint tokens face down and randomly distribute them face up onto the 16 ink and paint slots on the board. Place the deadline token on the start space of the deadline track. Take the five action tiles, give them a shuffle, and place one face up on each of the action spaces on the board, labeled one through five. Next, take the villain tiles for each of the films in the current game. Return any extra villains to the box. Set these tiles in a stack in chronological order with the earliest film's release date on top. Be sure the villains have their Calamity effects face up. Then take all of the Calamity cards for each of the films in the game and shuffle them into a face down deck placed above the right side of the board. Then, based on this table, reveal a number of Calamity cards in a row next to the board according to the player count and desired difficulty. Today, we're setting up with a three player standard game, so we're gonna place four cards. Finally, Form a supply of magic tokens nearby and give one to each player. Gameplay occurs in rounds, each divided into two phases, player phase and villain phase. First up in the player phase, starting with the first player and proceeding clockwise. Each player takes a turn. On their turn, the active player takes the following steps in this order. First, they select an action tile by sliding it off the board. Note that the action tile slot has a number, and the higher the number, the stronger the action. Next, they'll take the action on the tile. Let's look at our options. Animation. The active player draws cards from the animation deck based on the value of the tile. One card for one or two value, two cards for three or four, and if the tile is on the five space, they draw three cards. Animation cards are used to power characters and remove calamity, which we'll explain shortly. If the draw deck is full, shuffle the discard to form a new deck. Background. The player places background tiles onto their board. Each background tile has its own value based on the number of squares it covers, as shown on the back. According to the value of the action tile, the player may move up to that many points worth of background tiles to their board. Some spaces have symbols, which activate when covered. If they place a tile covering a magic symbol, they choose one player, including themselves, to gain one magic token. The action symbol allows any player to immediately do that action at the current value of its action tile. Ink and paint. This allows active players to take paint tokens up to a total value of the action tile. Each row of tokens has a cost, which is the amount of value they must spend to take the token. Acquired tokens are placed above the player's action board. They use them to place characters and remove calamity at the end of their turn. After the paint tokens have been taken, remaining tokens in that column slide down to the empty space. Sound! This allows the active player to give or place their film's wooden token or tokens according to the value of the sound action tile, as explained on their action board. Tokens can't be used until they've been given. Place tokens acquired above your board to remember, 
and set your supply of tokens below the board. Magic. If a player discards a magic token when selecting the magic action tile, they can do any action at the value of the magic action. At the value of the magic action, isn't that awesome? <laughs> Lastly, instead of taking the action tile's action as listed, the active player can instead just take a magic token. You will still have to select and move the action tile. After taking the action, the active player then removes the action tile, slides all action tiles on the left to the right, then places the used action tile on the one space. So now all actions before it have a higher value and that action is reduced to one. Be sure to discuss strategy with fellow animators when selecting your tile to optimize player turns. Before passing their turn, the active player may place or use characters and remove Calamity. This step is optional and they can do the following in any order, but each require a discard of a card or token. Placing characters. A player may discard paint tokens shown next to a character to place their character cell card on their background board, but only if the background behind their area is complete. The whole background doesn't have to be finished, just the background of the character. Placing a character provides a new power the player can use for the rest of the game, and the placement itself triggers this power immediately for free. Using character powers. On future turns, a player may use the character powers for the cost of one magic token or animation cards shown next to the power. Note that three matching animation cards count as any other single animation card. Discarded paint tokens return to the studio board, filling the empty spaces from bottom to top. Removing Calamity. Calamity strengthens the villain's powers, so removing them is crucial. Place removed cards onto a face-up discard pile. Calamity cards have a symbol marking how they're removed. Either paint, discard that paint token, animation, discard that type of animation card, and number. Select the action tile of that value shown and remove that calamity. This one happens at the beginning of a turn since it determines the turn selection. Additionally, there are cannot remove calamity cards which can only be removed in the villain phase. At the end of a player's turn, they may discard any tokens they want. Since tokens are limited, another player may need them more. After all players have had a turn, the villain phase begins. <laughs> all players discard down to seven cards in hand then advance the deadline marker one space up the deadline track. Next, complete the villain's Calamity effect, once per Calamity card next to the board. If zero cards are next to the board, this step is skipped. One big rule here, each time players cannot complete the Calamity effect, the deadline token is advanced one space. Each time a Calamity effect is resolved or the deadline token is moved for an incomplete effect, players discard one Calamity card. Once all of the Calamity effects have been resolved and thus no Calamity cards remain next to the board, move the villain tile to the bottom of the stack. Replenish the Calamity row with new ones from the deck and if the deck is ever empty, shuffle the discard into a new draw pile. Once the new cards are out, a new round begins. Play continues with players filling in backgrounds, drawing characters, and mitigating calamity. Once a player finishes their background and has placed all three of their characters, they flip their action board to the villain side. In order to place their villain and complete their film, they must fulfill the conditions listed and discard the tokens and cards shown. If so, they take the villain from the stack and place it face down on their action board. Their film is complete. Congratulations, you've made a film. But don't worry, you can still play because the player still takes actions and turns in the game sequence, helping others complete their films and keep removing calamity. Once the deadline token advances to the 13th space on the deadline track, the end game is triggered. Complete the current villain phase. Then, players have one final 
player phase to complete their films. If they cannot get it done, the game ends in utter defeat. However, if they do complete all films before the deadline, they win the game. And that's the basics of Disney Animated. I'm Gina DeVivo, this is Good Time Society, and you are so nice to have around. Thanks for watching. Give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and come back for more great games and good times.